one of the very reputed cng majors of the country indraprastha gas limited in spite of its good half yearly performance got punished by the market severely for over 3 months h1 of the current year was an exceptional performance for igl when its ttm ibida moved from 1500 crores of march 20 to 1900 crores a substantial growth in spite of the covid pressure and the volume in terms of million standard cubic meters although it couldn't cross the figure of 2020 it brought it almost closer to it and company's ibida per standard cubic meter showed an improvement of 1 and 1/2 rupees moving from 6.5 to 8.1 which was a great performance this is in spite of a fall in the realization per standard cubic meter from the level of 27.5 to 26 1 and 1/2 rupees per unit fall in realization 1 and 1/2 rupees improvement in ebitda per standard cubic meter effectively the company brought down its operating cost to the extent of rupees 3 per standard cubic meter that is from 21 of march 20 bringing it down to the level of closer to 18 in h1 of current year but the market was not impressed rising from the covid crash of april 2020 the share moved along with nifty till the middle of september 2021 but it started uh, underperforming thereafter with a great divergence the fall was as if there was a relay race between exponential moving averages the market price crossed 20 ema on 20th september and then 20 ema fell below 50 ema within 8 days and 50 ema within another 20 days fell below 100 ema and 100 ema fell below 200 ema on 27th december in a span of about 100 days the price fell below all moving averages and took the share to the bearish zone for a near term irreversible stay and in the process the price of 561 suffered a loss of almost 30% by the time it reached 28th january 2022 at rupees 394 during the covid crash the company had reached on 19th march 2020 the low of 284 calculating fibonacci retracement from that level the current market price of 394 falls between 23.6% and 38.2% and that is a very risky spot as unless there is a decisive crossover beyond 38.2 any talk of reversal is meaningless the company had a dream run all these years where the market cap moved in only one direction year after year but the fall came this year and the fall was severe on weight at a price of uh, 394 the pe for the company comes to its historic level of uh, around 19 question is is 19 a sustainable level or will it further go down given the pressure on the share price downward movement is not unlikely i am vithal prabhu bringing you the weekly video on stock learning simplified hope you will find the video interesting and useful indraprastha gas limited got into prominence because of the governmental initiative to take natural gas as the cleaner fuel and raise its uh, proportion in the energy mix from the current 6% to 15% by 2030 and the inherent cost advantage of natural gas over petrol and diesel also helped indraprastha gas
IGL is into distribution of compressed natural gas and pipe natural gas to domestic, transport and commercial sectors. It largely operates in national capital territory of Delhi with Noida, Ghaziabad and Rewari added. It is also expanding into certain licensed pockets of UP, Haryana and Rajasthan. IGL has benefited from its strong customer base and the largest CNG bus fleet in the world. Its CNG stations, residential connections and industrial and commercial customer base is quite impressive. For a feel of the inherent financial muscle of the company, a look at the cash flow is quite reassuring, be it its operational cash flow after taxes, working capital movements, payment of dividend which has been quite consistent and sizable. Besides, the residual operating surplus has been quite voluminous growing year after year to make use of internal accruals to fund the sizable capex plan cash flow has added to the strength of IGL. From the perspective of 5 year CAGR, IGL has got a mixed bag. Revenue is a disappointment with a 5 year CAGR of just 6%. Its profitability, asset growth and net worth have all grown with a decent around 20% CAGR but the racing ahead was seen in respect of market cap which grew by a whopping 35% that was not being normal which has since been restored to normal with the crash that followed from September 2021. This is the blow dealt by Delhi government to IGL. Draft aggregators policy where the government has fixed the target for cabs to go electric. The significance of cabs to IGL is that of its total turnover, CNG sales is 70%. Of 70% CNG sale, almost 40% comes from aggregators. Means IGL's overall sales has got a 30% share from aggregators. And with this one draft aggregators policy, that 30% revenue is threatened and IGL has suffered incidentally a fall of 30% in its market capitalization during this period of September till January. Of course, this draft policy has come only recently on January 16, but it is possible that market reads into these details long ahead of the announcement. As a public sector company, IGL has got BPCL's holdings of 22.5%, Gale's holding of another 22.5%, along with the 5% being held by the Delhi government. Besides, significant amount is held by FIIs, and mutual funds and uh, DIIs also hold almost 15%. BPCL's holding of 22.5% is prominent for the simple reason BPCL is going for strategic disinvestment and that way IGL ceases to be a public sector unit. Second, by way of strategic disinvestment, BPCL is bound to make an open offer to the shareholders of IGL to acquire up to 26% of its capital. With all these things becoming a reality, there will be material changes in the composition and structure of ownership of IGL and its operational flexibility. Indraprastha Gas has got established a CGD infrastructure across Delhi and that is a competitive edge. It is focusing on inorganic growth, taking stakes in other CGDs and incidentally, it is also getting into EV charging facilities, but it has to face prices moving up, creating cost pressures for it. And even the OMC dealer margins are likely to go up, eating into its profitability. And surely the electric enabled vehicles, EVs are going to be a big challenge to the CNG business of Indraprastha Gas Limited. Indraprastha Gas, a strong player, profitable with the market edge and threatened by electric vehicles. Hope you found the video to your liking and interest. 
you can access the similar videos at our info card on stock learning simplified we look forward to your likes shares and comments if you are new to the channel may please uh, subscribe and press the bell icon for timely intimation on our forthcoming videos thank you so much for your support interest and valuable time this video is for purposes of information education and awareness only this is not meant to be a solicitation or recommendation to buy sell or hold securities wherever applicable please seek the advice of a competent professional before taking action of any kind